High speed rail in Italy is great, connecting many of Italy's major cities at speeds of up to 300 km per hour. On board stylish and comfortable trains like Trenitalia's Vecchia Rossa 500. It's time to travel from Milan to Turin in business class. Hello from Milano Centrale, the principal railway station terminus for long distance services here in Milan. I'm always stunned by the massive size of this station. It's got a solid spot in my top 5 railway stations list. And once you head inside you will be just as impressed by the grand architecture of this station. Continuing further into the station some more shops appear. I really like how they've integrated these nicely into the otherwise old station building. From here you can either head straight up to the departures level or you can continue into the tunnel where you'll find the ticket offices. There's also plenty of ticket machines. You can also book in advance online and it's usually cheaper. Heading up the escalator will take us to the departure tracks. On our way there we pass by some of Italy's finest cuisine. Before arriving up into the station's main waiting area. Departure platform is not announced until about 10-20 minutes before departure, so if you're early like me, I guess you could just spend some extra time admiring the beautiful station building. Or just go to the platforms anyway. There is actually ticket barriers here, but I have never seen them not being unlocked and free to pass through without a ticket. So why not go to the platform and check out some of the trains here? We see possibly the biggest high speed train failure ever, the Ansoldo Breda Führer trains that managed to be in service with their intended owners for an entire month, before Trenitalia picked up what remained. But there's also plenty of success stories on Italian high speed rail. Here's open access operator Italo, who has brought some great competition to the Italian high speed network. And on this lovely morning, the station was also home to this heritage train excursion, which looked to be very well kept. The station is also filled with night trains to places like Sicily, as well as local trains to all sorts of destinations up in northern Italy. And in the meantime, our platform has been announced. We'll be leaving from track number 6. Which turned out to be completely opposite from where I was standing. And here our beautiful Fecherossa 500 train is, ready to take us over to Turin. On today's departure, business class was located towards the front of the train, which is a considerable walk as these trains are 11 cars long. But all the way at the front you do get a great view of the station roof. Let's get on board! As mentioned, today I will be travelling in business class, which is the second highest offering on board these trains. There's actually 4 in total, which we will take a look at a bit later in the video. All tickets come with seat reservations, but you can also pay a small fee for 2 euros to select the exact seat you want to sit in. In my case I paid 2 euros to select seat 16D. These seats look very stylish and comfortable. We leave the station here in Milan about a minute late, heading for Turin. And while we are making our way through the complex junctions north of the station, let's take a closer look at today's train's route. We are on board Fecce Rosa 9600, which starts here in Milano Centrale and then makes one intermediate stop in Rho Fier before taking the high speed line to Torino Porta Susa, before turning to the terminal station at Torino Porta Nova. The journey is scheduled to take 1 hour and 2 minutes to cover the distance of 148 km, which equates to an average speed of 146 km per hour. 
For the first few minutes of our journey, we wind our way along the classic lines around Milan's urban area. Passing through some of the important stations for the suburban trains like here at Milano Certosa. And before we pick up the speed, let's take a look at the seat, which features a nice big table, as well as recline button located in the seat. These are electronic. Over here is where you will find the coat hook. The seats themselves have these nice angled headrests. They are very plush and comfortable. In general, these are excellent seats. You will also find a power outlet, one for every seat. And very unnecessary motorized splines, but these are still very nice seats. Our train stops briefly in Rofier, which is located next to the large fairgrounds near Milan, which was also home to the Expo 2015. Immediately after, we are sent up on a viaduct that is the start of the high-speed line. Where we start accelerating towards our maximum speed, 300 km per hour. Which only takes a few minutes to reach, and now we are running at 300 km per hour. Also around this time, the complimentary service in business class commences. The service just includes a little bottle of water, some coffee and a little snack. There's just something so sophisticated about having a little cup of coffee at 300 km per hour. Right, let me show you the other options for seating on board these trains. Here we are in one of the many business class carriages on this train. This one also features small compartments. This also looks like an excellent way to travel, especially if you are with a family. As you can see, the train is not very busy this morning, but I assume this is because it's a short run just from Milano to Torino. And here we can see our current speed on the nice interior displays. As mentioned, these trains are quite long, so let me just cut to show you the other travel class options on board these trains. First up is Standard, which the train mostly consists of. Laid out in a common 2 plus 2 layout, mostly in base of 4. Unlike the other travel classes on board, these seats use a fabric material instead of a leather-like seat upholstery. Next up from that is Premium. Here you'll find similar seating to the ones on business class, but slightly narrower and in a 2 plus 2 layout. You'll also find a small onboard bar, which serves small snacks, hot drinks and cold drinks. From there on we have Business, which we've already seen. And last but not least is Executive Class. Laid out in a 1 plus 1 layout with these large reclining armchairs. And complete with a meeting room as well. All the train travel YouTubers should definitely have a meeting in here someday. But before we forget, it's time for the toilet review. This is one of the accessible ones. With a nice big open door which can easily be closed with the press on this button. It's a bit slow though. Over here is where you'll find the sink, where the water hopefully is working. There we go. P plenty of soap in the dispenser, but I could not get the hand dryer to work. But apart from that, the toilet was clean and otherwise functional, and it was well stocked with toilet paper. And here's what some of the smaller, non-accessible toilets look like. It's a beautiful morning here in northern Italy, and we start to catch a glimpse of the hills near Turin. It's really great to see functional high-speed networks in European countries like Italy and Spain, which has opened up to healthy competition and managed to attract many riders to the railway. We can only hope more nations can follow, and choose not to go down the same path as a country like France and its train operator SNCF, which from my perspective seem to be determined not to allow real competition or generally wants to improve the rail travel experience in their country. And it's only a few minutes later the driver gently applies the brake as we are coming up on the end of the high speed line on the outskirts of Turin. We call first at Porta Sousa, which unlike Porta Nova is a through station, which allows trains like the Milan to Paris high speed trains to stop in Turin without having to reverse at the dead end terminal at Porta Nova. We then make a 180 turn and then approach the station from the west side, passing through the Torino depot where we see one of Trenitalia's sleeper trains. We are now arriving 
early compared to the scheduled time in Dolima Bodenwada. Final destination of this journey. Thank you for traveling with Trenitalia. We will be glad to see you again on board our train. And in a true miracle on the Italian railways, we are actually arriving ahead of schedule, a whopping 2 minutes. I paid 24 euros for this ticket, booked around a month in advance on the Trenitalia website, which I don't think is bad value for a high-speed rail journey in what's equivalent to a first-class product. Fares vary a lot on the Italian high-speed network, so the earlier you book, the better chances of a good deal. And also make sure to check the competitor Italo if Trenitalia is very expensive. I personally find these trains excellent and would have no issues traveling on them for much longer journeys in Italy. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, consider subscribing to the channel. I try to upload a new one every Sunday, but with varying degrees of success. And if you want to keep up with my travels in real time, go follow me over at Twitter at InterCitySimon, where I usually post live from my travels. I am now off to explore Torino for a few hours. So thank you so much for coming along today, and I hope to see you back for another video. Thanks for watching.